What's up, guys? I'm your host, Luke Sides, for the first annual DCHS JAG TV Awards Ceremony Day for uh, both male and female participants of these awards. And uh, we're about to get right into these awards. These people have no idea they were nominated for these awards because there was no nominations. But to start the day off, we have our winners with the most appearances in an episode, Officer McCall and Coach Smith. Coach Smith, you have been nominated for a Jack TV award on today's uh, show, um, show, show on the show award. Here's your certificate. Who would you like to thank for getting the most appearances on Jack TV as a female? That's your award. I'd like to thank Coach Flatco for this blank certificate. Um, I'll frame it and hang it in my area. Actually, we need that back because that is our only certificate. Okay, here you go. Any other choice words like thank anybody else? Okay. What about your D Hall staff members? Mm, no. Alright, that's all we have from Coach Smith. Give me the, giving me the finger. <laughs> One second finger. I got all day, but all day. <laughs> all right, welcome back to Awards Day. I'm here with uh, old Officer McCall, keeps our school safe, and you won the 2022-2023 JAG TV Award most scre most screen time. Yeah. Screen time was your award, you know, because you're on here a lot, like y'all right now. Who would you tell me? Tell me about it. Take me through every time you were on screen time. Take me back to the first time. I know you remember it. First time I was on screen time, I just remember like it was yesterday. Um, we were rapping, school rap, school related raps. It was very amazing. Do you, you remember it? Yeah, in the schoolhouse. Call, you can catch me at the schoolhouse. You know we safe at the schoolhouse. Jack TV every Friday. You know we chilling at the schoolhouse. I remember that yeah. freestyle. My style ain't free. I understand. I understand. Some people love to be on camera, and we wanted to recognize those who are most willing to get screen time. Thanks to Coach Hilton and Coach Mayfield for never saying no. So you you've got an award for uh, we gave it to your husband at first, but then we just kind of kept it rolling since you came back. All right, most willing to get screen time. Here for the awards of Jack TV, Coach uh, Ashley Hilton, Ford, Franklin, Ferdinand, and whatever else your kid's name is. And who would you like to thank on this year's award? I would like to thank my students. I mean, look at this amazing class I have. Anyone else? I would like to thank you, Luke. Thank you for being a stellar student at the Soto Central High School. That's what I like to hear. Appreciate it. Uh, today on Jack TV, here's your award. Thank you very much. For uh, You won the award for never saying no as the male uh, participant, and we really appreciate that from you. you know, I've had to chase you down the hallways once or twice, but we've got the never saying no award. Who would you like to thank on this beautiful award day? Like, thank you for all your hard work. That's, that it. That's all, I need the certificate. <laughs> School can't always be so serious, so we are glad we have some around campus who can be goofy. Our winners were most likely to act a fool, Miss Donati and Coach Flake. You've been accepted an award. Yeah, TV. You've been accepted award. Oh, where's my? Accepted. <laughs> <laughs> we're most likely to act a fool. Uh, you're about right. Female of the school. <laughs> That's your award. Show everybody. Show everybody. Our award. Two That's hands. Great. Two hands. Two hands. Yeah, yeah. Who would you like to thank on behalf of accepting this award? Mm, I'd like to thank God. He created a, a great person to have a lot of energy, a lot of happiness. That's it. Mm, yeah. That's it. All right. That's it. Coach Blake, how are you doing today? Well. Did you stand up? 
We have a Jack Lee Award. Oh, Teacher of the Week. Two things. Today's award show. Actually, no, don't get too excited. Okay. We've got most likely to act a fool as a male teacher here at the school on JAG TV. Yeah, anybody, any words you would like to thank? Anything? Yeah, I would like to thank somebody in particular. Come on. This is the little party queen right here. Captain Turn Up G. Nick. I think that's half yours. Thank you. Five out for the remaining of our staff members. We'll only get half a certificate. We'll be able to take that back together. And there's a good example of Coach Flake acting in cool. Thank you. Now we want to recognize those who are making an impact on the student body. The award for most likely to give tough advice. Congratulations, Ms. Benson, Mr. Mayo, for always being honest. Mr. Mayo, always being honest. All right, back here on our awards day with Ms. Benson. She got most likely to give tough advice. Okay, so I want you to take this award and you, you just you just tell me who you want to thank right now for this award. I want to thank all my fans out there. I want to thank the academy. I want to thank the school, the institution. Um, I've been at this for 31 years. And um, I've given out some tough advice in my lifetime. And I hope to just pass this on to the next generation. If, if I was one of, just a person, and I just want an example, hit me with some tough advice. Do your work. Do my work. That's tough. It's tough for a student sometimes. Get up early. Get up get early. It's tough for a student sometimes to get up early and come to this place that we call school. It's tough. It's tough advice. That's why she won this award. If someone parks in your parking spot, threaten them. Tell them, don't do it again. That's that's not helpful. We'll slash your tires and punch holes in them. Me and Ms. Benson will do it together. Mm -hmm. We have to. That's right. Mr. Mayo, what is you've this? been selected for the Soto Central uh, JAG TV Award Day. What does that mean? That means you got an award. For here's, what? Here's your certificate, and your award is most likely to give tough advice. Oh, I can give you that all day long. Yeah. So, uh, who would you like to thank on today's 2022 award? Well, I'll thank you. I'll thank you and uh, all the people that made this possible over the years. Um, there's just too many people to uh, to think of at this time. So I, 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 I can thank you though. Hey, you heard it here first. Oh, and Mr. Rick Townsend. Definitely. <laughs> Mr. Townsend, good, good buddy of mine, too. Thank you. Things don't always go according to plan, and people need to know about it. So we want to recognize the two who are most likely to go on a ramp. Congratulations to Ms. Ramsey and Coach Ford. Hey, Ms. Ramsey. You've been gifted an award for your JTV of the 2022 semester. Really? Yeah. And here. Here you go. There's your award. And you are most likely to go on a rant. No way! Yes, so who would you like to thank today on this magnificent Oh my award? God, I just like to thank all of my students, you right. know, because a rant when they don't do their work. Right. Absolutely, I'm going on a rant. Right. Thank you, Mr. Yes. Don't get too carried away right now. No, it's I'm excited. Award day. I'm excited. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to need that certificate back, but thank you so much. You're welcome. Here with Coach Ford on his most likely to go on a rant. Please You've been nominated for the DCHS JAG TV 2022 semester class as your award for most likely to go on a rant as the male audience here. How would you? I don't understand why I would be nominated for something like that. I think that's quite ridiculous. Okay? He's on the rant in there. Oh. oh, is that what I'm nominated for? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Is anybody you'd like to thank for your beautiful uh, award? Well, I guess I gotta thank y'all. Because right. y'all are the ones filming me right. ranting right now. So it all makes sense. Right. Wonderful yeah. award. All right, let me say it back real quick. Yeah. Speaking of things not going your way, there's some staff members that need a mental health day. Those mental health day performers go to Ms. Walensic and Mr. Jones. Right here, most likely to win a mental health day. Like if somebody needs to spend a mental health day with you, this is the elected, you were nominated. Here's your award thank from the you. DC JAG TV 2022 staff. Who would you like to thank on this great award? 
who would I like to thank for this award? Um, there are several. Do I have to pick just one? No, you can keep it going. Okay. Um, Miss Vaughn and Miss Springer, um, Miss McNeil and Miss um, Blakely, Dindy, um, Mr. Jones, probably. Um, right, we'll stick to that many. We'll probably, <laughs> probably cut you off at okay. two. But yeah. Yeah, so that, I mean, it's just a great day to have a great day. Is that not right? It is. It is. Every day is a great day to have a great day. I'm just trying to get middle middle midget with you. You know what I'm saying? All right, I need that award back. Okay. Appreciate it. That yeah. was uh, Mental Health Day. Mental Health Day. Mental 2022 health Day. award winner. Welcome to the uh, 2022, and now it's uh, rolled into 2023 uh, awards day. I'm Luke Sides, and I'm presenting you with most likely to need a mental health day. And uh, so, on your award, man, how do you feel? I feel like that's not me. It's you already got. You already got. How do you feel on your award? Oh, I'm always honored to, to get any award uh, ever uh, given to me. Um, you know, this is. Uh, Take me through what a mental health day would look like. Um, I would probably be in a deer stand somewhere uh, over a feeder or a food plot looking at an eight point and deciding do I want to shoot it or not. Sounds like a good mental health day to me. Any uh, encouraging words to anyone out there, man? Who would you like to thank? Well, I'd like to thank everyone involved in, in this and, you know, just the motivation, you know, hey, you put your mind to something and you can you can achieve success. I like it, man. All right. Appreciate your award, man. Thank you. Everyone's favorite part of the day is lunch. But who should you keep your lunch away from? Your lunch is never safe around Miss Finema and Coach Price. You have been selected for DCHS Gang TV Award. Thank you. There's your award show, everyone. You are, and you are most likely to eat someone's lunch. <laughs> and Probably so, Probably. who would you like to thank on behalf of accepting Probably. this award that you were nominated for? I would like to thank Coach Flacco for the thoughtful process of giving me this award, for other Finema for inspiring me to take other people's lunches 10 years ago in the South Haven Middle School cafeteria, and for all of my students who shared their food with me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. That was great. That was good. Now I just need this back. Okay, thank you. You took my reward. Thank you. Coach Rock. Today's award day, finish up the semester here for the Ag TV. You know, it's a, uh, here's your award. And we've got, uh, most likely to eat someone's lunch. Okay. So, uh, instead, that's appropriate. Okay. Most likely to eat someone's lunch. Who would you like to thank on your award? Uh, I'd have to thank Coach Flacco. I know she's the one that kind of nominated me for this, so I appreciate it. That's it. Mom, dad, family, dog. No All, right. All right. What happens in the classroom must stay in the classroom. So who is most likely to stand on desk during instruction time? That title goes to Miss Kazimba and Coach Finema. You have been gifted an award for the 2022-2023 uh, Jack TV Awards Day. Most likely to stand on a desk during instruction is the award you were gifted. Who would you like to thank? I want to thank all my students in the past because they've seen me do this and that's probably why I got a boot on today. Makes sense, makes sense. Any Anything else, words of encouragement, you know, what, how how to stand on a desk maybe? Well, don't, that's, that's the thing because I did it during testing one time and during state testing and I fell off the desk and my kids had to test and I was on the floor, couldn't do anything. A distraction. Yeah, I distracted them. That's okay. Well, you were elected your award, and I hope you take that. I am so proud of this because I'm going to put this in my room, and I'm going to save it forever. You do that. You do that. Thank you. It was very honored talking to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Mr. Finema, so you have won an award for being nominated to from our uh, DCHS JAG TV staff, and your award is most likely to stand on a desk during instruction. So who would you who would you like to stake on behalf of your nomination of your award? I'd like to thank the uh, students and staff involved in the nomination, the uh, the school building that allows me to have a room in which I have the freedom to stand on desk during instruction. Is that it? And the academy. The academy too. Well, thank you. We're gonna have a few more awards left to give out, Mr. Finema.
along with your wife, also won an award. I guess you have to tune in and watch the episode and uh, on awards today. All right, appreciate it. I need that back. Appreciate it. Our final award today goes to about all about personal relationships. These are staff members here that are great at building relationships. Those bonds that can never be broken. Those chains that can never be shackled. Those unbreakable walls with students and their behalf of what they do here at the school. We chose these two people who we think are the most likely to overshare. Any guess? Miss Cohe and Mr. Townsend, of course. Hey, on uh, you're finished up the semester. Here's your award, Coach. Blake kind of ripped it up earlier, but you got a most likely to overshare. That is your award <laughs> here for our staff. And uh, who would you like to thank on your award ceremony day? I would like to thank everyone I overshared everything with. Would you would you like to share any information on that? No, I would not. Not in a sharing mood today, but she does like to overshare a lot. I got you an award for DCHS JTV first annual nomination award, and you won an award. Wow! I know. So here it is. No, it is most likely to overshare. That's your that's your certificate. Wow! Yeah. Who would you like to thank on this award? I would like to thank Coach Long. I know he put in a lot of requests for this award, and I uh, really had my back on this. Uh, I want to thank the junior class since I'm over the juniors because every day they, they try to avoid me when they come down the hallway. The ninth and tenth graders really don't know any better yet, so you know, they'll learn. And the seniors, they're just never here. I mean, get out after second block, what a gig is that? But I do appreciate the eleventh grade because they avoid me every day. But tomorrow I got more corny jokes for them, so please come see me. It's all right. It's okay. We're gonna use it, and I need that certificate back. I, I really do need it back. It can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I thank you for all the great semester for tuning in to the only award show we have ever had. I'm Luke Sides, as a, as a senior. I won't see you guys anymore on Jag TV. On the next.